Hello, everybody. This is Sea Walker Platinum One. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. In the last episode, we have taken down our rival and gotten a bunch of stuff done. Yeah. Okay. So in this episode, we are going to go to Orberg City for our first badge. All right. So, anyways, now it's evening, pretty much now, and. I get to go up and go with my Pokemon. Go, Cricket Town. Yeah, I can't speak. Youngster Michael wants to battle with his Cricket Hot. But we got a Starlet. Or Star Hawk. Excuse me. And that was so e painfully easy as crap, I'm not even going to laugh. <laughs> but I laughed anyway. Just to be a jerk. And next, as he stated, is Zubat. So let's put Ike out there. And... Kill it! Yes, kill it, kill it. Aww. You're jerk. Uh, okay, so here's Confusion. Confusion has a 50-50 chance of... Has a 50% chance, I think, of confusing... Of hitting yourself due to Confusion and look, 69 experience burdens. Her, her, her. Okay. And there goes Youngster Michael. Ah! My Pokemon! Yes, your Pokemon. Let's get this bag out of the way. Yeah, I have a GameStop bag near me. And it's making really a lot of noise. It's annoying. Uh, okay. What do you have to say? Your favorite Pokemon should be a top left of the list. Uh, no duh. Okay. Trainer tips. Pokemon moves energy called Power Points, or PP for short. If your PP runs low, head to a Pokemon Center. <laughs> PP. Okay. So yeah. Moves have PP, or Power Points. But at this early in the game, you'll probably have a lot of PP. So, you won't have to worry about that. Pretty much have over 100 power points in total. And stuff. And here we have a young, another youngster here. I never... A, a, I'm never apart from my Shinx. Our bolt bond is strong! Your bond is strong, okay. Youngster Dallas. And that's at level 8. That's actually pretty high level at this point in the game. So, Shinx, fortunately, at level 8, it does not have any electric type attacks yet. So, we're pretty lucky since Starhawk here is part flying type. So, it's weak to that sort of thing. So sad, and so crushed. So sad, so crushed. Wax on, wax off! Okay. And <coughs> yeah. Before I challenge the gym leader, I'll test my strength on you! You! Okay. Youngster Sebastian. Had the mod shop. Yep. And I was dead. God, I was a little late on there. Jeez, I'm like so late on that. Okay. That means we're not ready for the gym challenge yet. The first gym is a rock type gym! Hey, thank you, I just spoiled it. And hold on a second. Okay. So I just had to cough right there. Excuse me. Okay, what do you have to say? Oh, you're a trainer, you jerk! Last, Kate. Wait, is that Caitlyn? Yeah, it's Caitlyn, but just spelled differently. With a K instead of a C. And why did I not put Ike out there? Yeah, I train my Pokemon equally. Yeah, so they can be at least equal levels. So she's got a Starly next. Now let's actually bring out Ike. She's got four Pokemon. 
Starly, which can burn. And she's got a Padoo, which is the pre-evolved form of Rosalia. I actually did not know about that when I first got Diamond. Like back in 2007. And now it's 2011, so yes. Now I'm 18, and I'm a man. Oh yeah, and she's got an Abra too. But can only do teleport, ha 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 ha, you suck, you suck. Your Abra sucks, your Abra sucks, it should go die. Or faint. Huh? You're finished so soon? That's what she said, oh wait. That's literally what she said. Nah, okay. I got a nifty keen badge from the gym leader in Orbrook City. So you got the coal badge from there. Yes, and I just spoiled the badge too. Last Madeline. Yes, it's Last Madeline from the French. And apparently from that children's book series, Madeline. I love that series. Okay. I swear, I kept... I don't know why, but I... But as a kid, I remember reading Madeline so much. Or Madeline. Okay, Madeline, okay? It's Madeline. I remember reading that series so much that I just loved it. And small spreads grass. Yes! And we got an X Defend. And let's actually put Ike out there. Out front. Yeah, there are Pokeballs at the bottom of the... You should burn! Yay, it burned! Yay, you fainted! Yay, you leveled up! Yay, we're out of here! Okay, so, anyways, over here... We got a Repel, which is actually really useful. Repels prevent while weak wild Pokemon for a hundred steps. So remember, the repel will only take effect when the first Pokemon in your party is higher level than any of the area's Pokemon. And now here we are at Orber Gate. That sparkly new Pokat! Your your awkwardness as a traveler. You're still a pretty new trainer, aren't you? Yes, I am. But it's all good. You're a new fellow with Pokemon. Here. And he gives us HM6, Rock Smash. HMs in his HMs have unlimited use. But its moves can only be accessed outside of battle when you have a certain badge. Like Rock Smash. Rock Smash, uh requires the first badge to use. You can even find some Pokemon under rocks. Under smashed rocks! Okay. It's what we do. Accept challenges. Here we have Camper Curtis with Starly. Starly. Yeah, Starly, Starly, bon Bonsly, Bonsly. Tomato, tomato, potato, potato. This is a potato head. Oh, yeah. That would be awesome if Mr. Potato Head was actually pronounced the other way. Be like, Mr. Potato Pet. What? Yay, Starly Dot. I'm fainted. Now he's got a Shinx. And it should die. And it should burn. And now it faints. Yeah. Insufficiently raised? Yes. And now hold on one more second.
Okay. So, anyways. Yeah, I just had to cough again. And here we have another girly trainer. I'm going to battle you as a celebration of getting out of this cave alive. Picknicker, Di Picknicker, Diana. Last Diane. Okay. And that thing should burn now. Burn, 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 baby, burn. Just go and burn. Oh, wait, what? Okay. All right. So it's gonna tackle us. We're going to burn it. Fire, fire, yeah. <laughs> okay. Here we got one, one, one experience. Here we go to level 13. One more level, and something special will happen. I guess losing something to commemorate to. Something to commemorate how. Oh, and about this guy. In Diamond and Pearl, he called you a noob. Uh oh, you don't have a single bitch. Hey, we better do something about that. He actually called you a noob in Diamond and Pearl. It's like, hey, I'm no noob. I'm a trainer and I'm a man. Okay. What? There's someone here. Is that guy in front of the gym your friend? He's sort of twitchy and impatient. Indeed! Huh? Oh, it's you, Charlie. You finally got here. You're slow like always. Gym leader's tough. Like, seriously, serious. Oh, I just stripped it here. Gym leader's off to the coal mine. And we have to go to the coal mine. But, let's actually go over here. This is the Orberg Mining Museum where you can restore fossils of Pokemon. You'll find... They'll be able to find fossils later in the game. Trust me. And here we are on Route 207 where you can catch a mod shop here. It's somewhat useful, but I'm not gonna catch one. That slope's too slippery. You need a bike. Do I have a bicycle? There's a cycle shop in Eterna City. Yep, that's our next city after this one. So anyway, let's just heal up our Pokemon real quick. And we are back. Okay. So, around here, the layout of those, these mines have changed a bit. Like, now you have these moving things. It looks so cool. Yeah, it does. So anyway, if you go over here, you can find two items here. One of them is a yellow shard, which shards are going to be important for later. And a dire hit, which raises the critical hit ratio of a Pokemon in battle. So, wait, is there anything over here? Is in there? I think there's something over here. No? Well then, screw it. Um, wait. Chop, chop, mud chop! Chop away on the rocks! Wow, that was horrible singing. My voice cracked right there. We were a busy Pokemon. Yeah, we will. Ah, you blocked. Okay. Okay. Over here we can find a Pokeball. And let's actually go back and see if we can find any repels. Or buy some at the Pokemart. I'll be right back. What do you need? No. Nothing there. Nothing over here. Wait, what? Wait a minute. Wait. Wait. Oh, you jerks! You don't have any repels? What? You jerks! But they do have something useful here. These are, these are new types of Pokeballs. Well, one of them is new. As of this generation. Hold on. Okay, so, anyways. That's a heal ball, which restores HP and eliminates status problems. And here is a net ball, which is useful for catching water and bug types. I'm not gonna buy those. This mart is a jerk. It doesn't have any repels.
Okay, so any jerks didn't have any repels, so we're gonna have to go down there and just deal with it. Yeah. And down here is where the where Rourke is. That deer dude can die. Okay, so I met these much up on Route 207. I think I'm the most trusted part. Ah! I hate you, Geo dude. Anyways, you can battle these workers here. So, let's get to it then. Worker Mason here has a Geodude level 9. We're gonna kill this thing with the power of fire. And, hopefully, we can do this in like three or four shots. Come on, there we go. Worker Mason has been defeated. Well, aren't you something, he said. And here we can find a potion. And over, ah! Die, Zubat. Okay, here's Rourke over here. Okay, stand back and watch this. Using the hidden roof rock smash, a boulder blocking away. SMASH! Fallen boulders need to be smashed just so they're out of the way. If you could get the gym badge from the gym town, you'll be able to do this too. Of course, you have to been, beat the gym leader first. That'd be me! Okay. So anyways, here we have another trainer right here. A quick battle on his break. Well, it's his break now, so he's got two Pokemon. Geodude. And it's at level six, which is not really too important. Okay, so for... Okay, so anyways, for the upcoming gym here, if you have uh, Turtwig, it should have like Razor Leaf by now, so this battle can, so the battle against the Rock type Pokemon will be a breeze. If you have, if you choose Chimchar, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you evolve this thing because on the next level, it evolves. How very convenient! We've now reached level 14, and that means... What? Ike is evolving? Yep, Ike is evolving into... Did you evolve into... Oh, well, God. That was horrible. And now Chimchar evolves into Monferno! And at level 14, Monferno learns Mock Punch, which is a really good move. It lets it attack first, so let's get rid of Scratch. Because Scratch is obviously useless now. And there we go. Mock Punch. Or Match Punch, as anybody would like to say it. So anyway, here we find an Escape Rope which allows you to escape dungeons. So, let's use that thing and get the heck out of here because all these wild Pokemon without any repels is annoying, to say the least. Okay, so anyways, with all that said and done, I think we're gonna end this part off here. Or this episode, excuse me, blah, okay. This is going to be an editing nightmare, I can just tell. Okay, so, on the next episode of Pokemon Platinum, we are going to go for the Orberg Gym to get our first gym badge here. Yeah. So, see you guys next time.